temperamental stream. wonder what's going on. Jasmine says, are we back? Um, Jasmine, are, are we back? I'm sorry, guys. There was obviously something weird going on. It doesn't look weird on my end. It did kick me out of the chat a little while ago and I had to log back in. Um, Marcy says, I'm here. Common says, that's better. Okay, maybe something has self-rectified. Some sort of weirdness, no more repeating. Okay, so I'm guessing you guys probably didn't hear me say, let's do a quick stamp roulette. So if you give me an L number, that is a, for a large stamp pocket, an L number between 1 and 160, uh, or a, an S number, that is a small stamp pocket, between 1 and about 60, 60-ish, 60 then we'll do a quick stamp roulette. And while, I'm, I, while I was waiting for them to come through, I started cutting out to be with Gardenia. Because although watercolouring is very cathartic and very relaxing, it's not the usual upbeat <laughs> temper, tempo, not temper, of my, uh, my streams. So, let's finish this little guy. We shall come back to you. Here we go. L33, right, let's get cracking with L33. L33 is Hello Sweetums. Dun, dun, dun. L30 will be, that would be 32, that would be 31, and that would be 30. Okay, <laughs> another Hello Sweetums actually. Interesting. <laughs> um, and 47. Okay, so that was 33, 47. Okay, and then we have a honey bee situation going on here. <laughs> All right, we can make this happen. <laughs> what are we gonna do, guys? Because we seem to have one that's under the sea and one that's over the sea. <laughs> Let's see. Well. We can have a little house under the sea, but then we don't have any bees going on here. Hmm, we could use swirls under the sea. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do. If all else fails, we turn a hamster into a sea or <laughs> something. Oh, the leaves can be kelp. That's a great idea. I like that. I like that. I think that would look like a little seal if we removed his uh, ears. Well, how can we use this? Can we use this as something under the sea? Blah, 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 like a bubble? 
right? Or we use this as a little under the sea element. <laughs> just use the rocks or just use the rocks in with the fish, in with the guinea pig. Yeah, that's much easier, I think. Use the rocks with the, um, the guinea pigs with some flowers. Let's give it a go. I like your style that you've got going on there. Put the hamster in a bubble. Oh, that's so cute. We could put a hamster in a bubble. Mr. Hamster. And we're going to have some flowers, I think. Could be scuba diving. Oh, I quite like that idea as well, actually. Yeah, we could put like a little snorkel on him. That would be super cute. Could this be a snorkel? Probably not really. <laughs> You'd need to have the one that's, this one that's swimming. Maybe we could turn him into a, a swimming, a swimming guinea pig, hamster, whatever he is. Let's try and remove a little bit of the ink. We'll see if we can fill that in. And if not, we'll do the other one. Three little flowers, the magic number. We'll do a couple of leaves while we're here. You could use the small walking stick from Quill You Be Mine as a snorkel. That's an awesome idea. I love that. Let me see if I can find it. Do you think that could be a, a snorkel? Kind of covers his eye though, I'm gonna do that. He could just be um, swimming with a, with a mask on. Do the rocks. And we 
could possibly have like a fairy if we just had the top of her. So maybe turn her into some sort of fairy. Once again, not sure how that's going to work out, but we'll see. Okay, it's not terrible. It's not. A hundred percent terrible. Might be able to make that work. <laughs> Let's color these guys in. And take it from there. I'm gonna grab my tri blends tonight. Squeaker, squeaker, squeaking. So for those of you who don't know, England have gone into full lockdown again, which also means that we have the fun task of homeschooling the kiddos. So far, Piper's been brilliant in that she's doing really well. Uh, adjusting and doing some work. It's a little challenging at times. But I think that is fairly normal. What is... There we go. Or will we require some adjusting? When everybody's part does mean I have to work all weekend because I did not get enough work done this week. <laughs> I don't know why Leslie sound more squeaky. Sometimes I don't get that with mine. <laughs> Jasmine says, I have the nib ones, not the brush ones. Mine are the nib ones as well. I don't know why mine are very squeaky and yours are not so squeaky. I wonder if it's anything to do with the heat in my room. I mean, it's, it's not, my room isn't that warm. I, doubt, I imagine it's not much warmer than what a house would be. And we both use the same paper, so it's not that. So I don't know. Don't have the answer to that one.
So I think this could work. It could work, it could work. I'm not entirely sure. He is very cute. Kinda looks like a little bear on those colors. Daisies. And I've got coral blend here. And I'm simply going to add sort of like a little shadow using the coral. Forgot to do my third one. A pale pink in the middle. All right, so I do have. dyes for my daisies. I don't have dyes for the others. Mm -hmm. I shall have to get scissor happy tonight. And we will uh, create a cute little scene for our wet little guinea pig. Hiding under the daisies. He'll be the fairy popping out. Now we need a reason for our guinea pig to be there. Is it his birthday? Does he need a birthday cake? Is he reading some books? What's he doing? What do you guys think? What reason does our little guinea pig have? To be in the garden. Maybe he's not a guinea pig, maybe he's a mouse. He's just a bit big boned. Maybe he's not big boned, maybe he just had a really wonderful Christmas. Like the rest of us. We are not short on chocolate on this <laughs> this time. I think uh, there was a lot of chocolate gifts this uh, Christmas. Mm. 
I'll move him to the side. He may well still get created. Turned into a card. Some sort of underwater creation. <laughs> Let's give this a go, first of all. There's a lot of stamps in this stamp set. And therefore a lot of dies. Yells Yells says, did you DHL driver like his card, Lizzie? Well, I haven't actually given it to him yet because um, we're, I'm going to give it to him when we move. So I still have it over there on my on the sideboard. Kim, I just a little basic Christmas card, and wrap him up a pack a uh, thing of chocolates. And then on the 23rd of December, we had a collection scheduled, and. Uh, <laughs> Seen the, I seen the DHL van come and I was like, oh, there he is, there he is. And I went to go grab the gift. And just as I went to open the door, I saw out the window, it wasn't him. He must have been off that day. It was someone else. <laughs> so I thought, actually, I'll, I'll just hold on to these. <laughs> I'm not really sure what um, driver etiquette is in regards to things like that. If, uh, <laughs> Some if a driver normally does the rounds in our in my area, and I give a a, a gift to the to the person who actually comes to the door that day, are they expected to pass it on? I don't know. But I'll just leave it. <laughs> Give it to him when in the new year. And if you haven't already got slimline dies in your stash, we have got No, if I remember, these guys were a little bit tricky to use with the dies when I used them previously, and I believe it was much easier just to cut it out using scissors. I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. Bless me, bless me, I'm gonna grab a tissue. There we go. In other news, it's not very exciting, but anyway, um, I was invited to take part in the January COVID antibody test, which oops, yeah, is just um, like taking a sample of the population and swabbing them and seeing if they have COVID or um, if they've ever had COVID, I think. If you have the antibody for it. So I took my first COVID test this week. 
I've been feeling fine and I do not believe for a second that I have ever even had COVID. But I think they should be able to tell if I'm one of the people that are um, what you call it, like um, asymptomatic. So we'll see. I, d I don't even honestly know if they give you an awful lot of information about it. Probably not. Probably not, to be honest. All right, so we've got some flowers. We're gonna have, pop us a comment if you can still hear me because the comments have frozen on me. And I'm not sure if it's just gone quiet or if it has lost the connection. And I'm happily sitting talking to myself yet again. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Some blue on ya. Blue, blue, blue. What shall we go for? I can hear you. It did freeze again, but it's been doing that on and off. Oh, poo. It's a right annoying thing. I'm sorry it's being a right pain tonight, guys. It's incredibly annoying. Hi, Martinine, how are you? Okay, so I've added a little salty ocean. And shall come in with a tiny bit of tumbled glass just to fade it out a tiny bit. Jasmine says it's the same thing that happened before Christmas too. I think it's YouTube. Ah, right, okay. Might be YouTube. I do know that um, the software that I use was complaining that I needed an update. So that might not be helping either. We're gonna have a couple of flowers. Might actually have, oh no, that doesn't look good. little flower a 
in flower like this. think we'll trim down this stalk a little bit for the third flower is he going to be able to sit on there I think he can sit on there quite nicely but I think I need to work on the other side so let's stick this guy down hey Roberta you made it have you moved no one day you guys are going to ask if I moved and I'm going to say yes and I'm really looking forward to that day so much so much not yet we didn't think we would because between like the 22nd of December and the 4th of January nothing happens it's a bit painful but um We, we're still making progress. It's just not really ever as quick as one would like. As you can imagine. And this little fairy Did I tell you about the fairy situation in our house tonight? I don't think I have yet. Earlier tonight, Piper's um, tooth fell out. Big excitement because this tooth has been loose for many, many weeks. And So she um, <laughs> literally cried, Mommy, <laughs> as soon as this tooth came out. And um, she's been so proud of this tooth that she has been carrying it around with her. And then just after dinner, she went to put a tissue into the bin and accidentally threw the tooth into the into the trash by accident oh so that was a very upsetting situation I was about to take the dog out with Craig so we decided okay Craig will stay at home I'll take the dog out on my own Poor Craig had to go through the whole trash can trying to find said missing tooth. Well, he did not find it. But we phoned Nanny. Because I told Piper I remembered something similar happening whenever I was a kid. Where there was a tooth that accidentally went down the drain. And Nanny said that what she did when I was young, she wrote a letter to the Tooth Fairy explaining what had happened and put the letter under the pillow. And the Tooth Fairy still came. And so that's what we had to do. We had to write a letter to the Tooth Fairy tonight, explaining what had happened. And my mum said that a few um, before Christmas, before Halloween, actually, 
there was, my mom works in a primary school, there was um, a little girl who had accidentally swallowed her tooth and she told the little girl that get mum to write a letter and hopefully then the um, tooth fairy will come and she did so we shall see tonight if uh, if we get a visitor hopefully so all right so I just want to add a little bit of sparkle to this because it's a, a little bit plain in the moment I'm using my wink of Stella glitter brush marker And I think we need a sentiment on here. Now, if we scroll up, there was an S number, S7. I'm taking a risk here, guys. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Okay, might be a bit big. There's a big thanks. Oh, that's not really gonna fit. But there is also a die. Which sadly I don't think is gonna fit either. It's gonna look a little pushed in there. So I shall have to refuse number seven the one before it says especially for you so this one says need a hug do you think he looks sad need a hug you're a rare find I don't think that really works. <laughs> need a hug might work. She's like, hello, do you need a hug? I think just put a nice sentiment, a nice little everyday sentiment. We'll use hello, hello on here. brighten things up. In fact, I wonder if that's too yellow. Let's see if we can make this work. This is some foam by the way, that's why it looks so bright. Let's see, foam. Oh, that is I'll use my ATG gun just to adhere some cardstock behind here. And I'm actually going to trim away the areas that aren't stuck on card because that then gives me a sense of where I have a good base. So the reason that I'm adding the foam onto the, uh, sorry, the card onto the back of the foam is that foam will stretch um, and it stretches and becomes out of shape and it can stretch. Right now, everybody needs hugs.
cute. Let's stick this on. Awesome. I am just going to have a look and see. I like these little hearts, so I think I'm going to add them on as well. And there's a tiny little heart here. And there's one there. So I'm going to give them a little shower of hearts to finish up this card. But I'm going to use blue. It's managed to kick me out of the chat again, which is annoying. I think we might have to wrap it up after this card because it's certainly not behaving tonight. That's a little bit too dark. That's better. So that's a little heart out of the mermaid set. And there's a smaller one. In the squeak out set. See what it turns out. It's, there's very little difference between them sizes actually. It's very cute. Very cute indeed. I think we'll call that one done. No, let's see if I can log back into my chat. Is this is it still working guys? Let me see if I can open up YouTube. And see the comments there. It's been a right pain. I'll have to see if I can see the comments on YouTube, and if not, then we'll wrap it up for tonight. Well, I know you guys may already have been kicked off. Let's see.
Uh, here we go. I can see some comments. Roberta says, I like the scripty hello. And Teresa, hello, Teresa, says, I really like that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Marcy says, I'm watching while working from home. Glad I could add a little craftiness into your working day today. A little bit of Friday fun time. Bronwyn said, I got my Heffy Doodle mini die cutting machine the other day. It's awesome! Yay! Jasmine says, yay, it's great, isn't it? It's so great, Jasmine. Really glad I got it. Yay! Tell all your friends. Yelzy up. Oh, thanks, Yelzy up. Says, hit the like button before you leave. When I watch other YouTubers, this is a big thing for them. Oh, thank you. Roberta says, it's the first thing I go to. Ah, oh, thank you. You're very sweet. Well, hitting the like button uh, increases engagement. The YouTubers make a big deal of it because, especially if you're, they're going to the trouble of editing a lot of videos and things like that. Um, even if you have a great video and even if somebody is subscribed to you, you can still actually not appear in their feed. And it all is this constant dog-eat-dog -dog battle to um, please the YouTube algorithms. And it's not always entirely fair, if you know what I mean, that it's sometimes it's about having regular videos and sometimes it's about um, the length of your videos not being too long and all this jazz. And a long time ago I decided that I I was not going to rely on getting money from making YouTube videos, but instead actually create the products. Um, and because of that, I don't do an awful lot of edited videos, purely because of the time it takes. And even whenever you take the time to do it, people might not see it, even though they're subscribed. And it is... constant battle against that YouTube algorithm. So yeah, I, I absolutely appreciate and it does, yes, make a positive difference when you hit the like button. Absolutely does. Well, thank you. Marcy says, I forgot to mention, I finally got Bluebird. Oh, yay, your new best friend in the craft room. Little Bluebird, he's so cute. He's so cute, that boy. All right, we're nearly done with these pretty, pretty little things. computer fan, however. It's whirling around and around. All right, look at these. Don't they look beautiful? I think they're gorgeous, and I think um, they'll look beautiful on 
maybe like a, a, a teal cookie monster kind of colored card or even maybe an ice blast card i think that'd be awesome <laughs> Alright guys, my computer is having a little bit of a hissy fit, so I think I'm going to have to there for tonight. I will promise I will do a, an update on my software before next week, and hopefully that will solve the problems that it is. I said to Craig, when we move, I want a new computer and he laughed at me and he says, you know, you've got the most powerful computer that and any of us have. I was like, I hate it. <laughs> he did say that I could probably try to set up Restream against my laptop. So maybe when we move, we'll try that and see um, if we still experience the same little gremlin as we do on this PC. We might just need to uh, have a blank slate and then reinstall it all. We'll see. Have a lovely weekend. I shall be working, but thank you for 